Okay, so this is the recovery for the exam. We need to address four different topics, how a suction cup works, force necessary to pull a suction cup of one inch diameter, we need to conduct an experiment with a suction cup to calculate the force, and then calculate the cup size necessary to hold the weight of a 200 pound person. So as you can see here, a suction cup works by taking a soft rubber with a concave shape and pressing it against the surface. This creates a sort of vacuum which takes the air from in between the concave rubber and the surface and it forces it outwards. However, the pressure on the outside pushes against the outside of the suction cup, which in, which in turn forces it against the surface. So basically, I have my suction cup right here. It's got a concave surface right there. I don't know if you can see the inside of it. You can kind of see the concavity right there. But anyway, so you press it against the surface and all the air in between this and the surface gets pushed outwards. So the air in here, or the pressure in here, is zero. So when you push it down, this creates a vacuum so it doesn't come out. I think you can see, see how it, on the inside right there, you're seeing how it creates a kind of a bubble. Well, that's the, that's the air inside because there's none in there. Well, the forces, from the outside is just the atmospheric pressure pushing down on this, which pushes against the surface. So any force that's acting on the outside of it is just the pressure. So for right here, for example, right here, I use the atmospheric pressure of 14.7 PSI. And that's just all the pressure pushing down against it, which makes it pretty hard to take off. And that's just how a suction cup in general works. So now for this, for the second point, we need to calculate the force necessary to pull a suction cup of one inch diameter. Well, right here, obviously you have my free, free body diagram, an inch of diameter, and then an outside pressure of 14.7 PSI. And then the pressure inside is obviously zero. Well, the formula is pressure equals force over area, so force equals pressure times area. Well, the only pressure we have is the 14.7 psi acting against the suction cup so basically you just plug and chug force equals 14.7 psi times the times the area which is calculated pi over 4 times 1 squared and i got 11.54 pounds is the force necessary to pull a suction cup of one inch diameter now for my experiment I found out later that there was a little tool that we could use to actually calculate the force necessary to pull a suction cup, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get the tool from Ralph, so maybe we can do it during your office hours or whenever is a good time for you so I can actually compare my results. But what I did was basically I just measured the length of this, which is 4.5 centimeters or 1.77 inches and basically did the same thing as I did on the last problem where I actually calculated the force necessary to pull this suction cup off of a surface. Now I've noticed that different surfaces kind of fluctuate the force so a this is a glass table and I've noticed it's a lot harder to pull this than it would be for my Mac. I mean it's not like it's pretty negligible the amount it's around the same but it's definitely going to vary just from research that i've done it has a different um coefficient of the friction right here so anyway so i just converted 4.5 centimeters to 1.77 inches and uh, of course you have the atmospheric pressure pushing down against the suction cup and this gives you a force of 36.17 pounds. And honestly, that's when I'm obviously I don't have that tool to actually calculate the force, but when that when I'm actually pulling it, it definitely feels like it takes 36 pounds of force just to pull it off of there. So then the last issue we needed to address was to calculate the cup size necessary to hold the weight of a 200 pound person. Well, like I said, or like I said previously, all you need is a free body diagram and then the force is acting on the cup. Well, for here, 
instead of force equals pressure times area, we're just going to do area equals force over pressure. And we have a 200 pound person basically pulling on the suction cup, which is going to be the force. And then we have the pressure, which is acting against the suction cup. So right here, plug and chug area equals force over pressure. We got 200 pounds over 14.7 PSI. And I got 13.61 inches squared. And that's how big you need the suction cup to be for, in order just to hold that 200 pound person. Before. So it's probably, in all honesty, area got to be greater than or equal to 13.61 inches squared. So yeah, that's the recovery for the exam.